Hello, this is Ruth Ann. Welcome to my channel. Um, I'm going to do a video that's a little different today. I was inspired by Shauna J, who did a video recently on perfumes that she loves and hates. And I thought it was really creative. And I thought, oh, I have several like that that are very similar in my collection. So um, I will try, if I can, to link her channel, the video, with the same theme down below in the description box. And I'm just going to get started. So the first fragrance that I both love and hate is by Guerlain. And this is called Eau de Fleur Cedra or Cedrat. I don't know if you can see that there. So this is just a very simple unisex citrus scent. And it smells a lot like fresh squeezed lemons. It's exactly what I would like to smell like in the summer, especially in the heat. I love citrus <clears throat> fragrances. And I love the scent of this fragrance, but what I hate about it is how fleeting it lasts. And because I love the fragrance so much, it makes me also hate it because every time I look at it, I have almost like this gut feeling of anger because I just keep thinking, you know, I would love you. I would love you with all my heart if you would just last at least two hours. But I'm not kidding. It lasts fleetingly, just like a, a body spray. And so how does Guerlain, for as fancy of a perfume house as they are, and as expensive as their fragrances are, how on earth do they put out a fragrance that is a, um, I, I believe this is an eau de toilette, how does it last 15 minutes? I mean, that, that should be a crime. So I love and hate this fragrance. Next up, I have an oldie but goodie. This is Ciara by Revlon. This fragrance has been compared to um, root beer. It's been compared to Coca-Cola. Um, it's really just a spicy oriental. It's got a lot of oriental spices. It's got a lot of incense in here, a lot of musk. It's a very complex, beautiful scent. Very strong, great for winter. And there's um, the only reason why I hate this fragrance in addition to loving, I love the scent. And I just, I had it in a haul video not long ago. Um, and I haven't purchased it since my teenage years because this was my, one of my signature scents as a teenager in high school. I went through several bottles and the reason why I also hate it is because it's nostalgic this was the fragrance that I wore the strongest when I was dating my high school boyfriend. And even though he never cheated on me and he didn't treat me bad, it still brings me back to those times when I was like a different person. I was young. The things I cared about then, I don't really care about anymore. I don't find those things important. It just reminds me of all of the things that were, the things that could have been, the things that aren't anymore. So it's nostalgic, but not nostal Not all nostalgia is good. And I think you know what I mean by that. But I still love the fragrance. So I both love and hate Ciara. Next up, I have... This is a renowned fragrance. This is Kenzo L'Elephant. And I love this fragrance because I love the fragrance. It is a spice bomb. This is nuclear bomb spice. And it smells like Christmas. It smells, it's absolutely gorgeous. And that's what I love about it. But what I hate about it is that I have to be very careful. Like I could, if I were just myself at home, I could drown myself in this fragrance. I could wear it just as strongly and as much as I want. I could reapply as much as I want. However, if I'm going out in public, if I'm going to be around anyone else, I have to be careful how I wear it and how much I wear because it really will upset people and offend people because it is so spicy and it is so strong. And people, there are a lot of people, and I'm sure you know this, there's a lot of folks out there who don't like perfume. They may not mind the natural 
sense, like musk, molecule one, the things that are really subtle. But this is this is the opposite of subtle. Kenzo Lelefant is jungle Lelefant is the opposite of subtle. This is hit you over the head with a baseball bat kind of a fragrance. And you've got to be really careful about how you wear it. So because of that, I both love it and hate it. I only hate it because I cannot lavish myself in it as much as I'd like. Next up, I have, I was a little reticent to put this on, on this list, but this is one of my favorite perfumes. This is, this is the original Chanel number 19, Eau de Parfum. I also have the Eau de Toilette, but I'm specifically bringing up the Eau de Parfum because this is a green fragrance and it's, it's a very melancholy scent. So what I love about Chanel number no. 19 is that it's beautiful. It's ladylike. It's class. It smells like money in a bottle. It's very unique. Because of that greenness, it's got a lot of oak moss in it. And I'm an oak moss lover. What I hate about it is that it will start to affect my mood. So if I go on a kick and I want to wear this two days in a row, on that third day, I can't do it. I cannot get it out and wear it again because it starts to make me feel melancholy. And I'm not someone who tends towards depression, melancholia. I'm not a moody, anxious person. It doesn't make me anxious, but it, it makes me feel heaviness and almost a sadness. And a. have never really, I can't say I've ever been depressed. But if I were to put my finger on depression, it would be like what I feel like on day three of Chanel number 19. So it's, it's a perfect fragrance for a rainy day. It would be great for a funeral. It's great for a formal occasion. I always picture a lawyer, a lady lawyer, kind of a boss lady going into trial wearing Chanel number 19. She wants to be taken really seriously. But on day three, she's ready for Prozac. So, so I both love and hate Chanel number 19 because I cannot wear it days in a row. And the last one I have is a fragrance that I absolutely love. And this is Fraca by Robert Piguet. This is, this came out in the forties and it, this is an old Hollywood scent. This is a fragrance that one of a lot, or I should say a lot of the old Hollywood stars wore was their signature scent back when films were still in black and white. And this is a um, tuberose bomb. People always describe it as bubblegummy. I don't smell bubblegum, but if, imagine the pink of that bubblegum, that's what Fraca smells like, is that pink. Like the pink on the label is as pink as this smells. To me, this is, this is dew dripping on flowers. It's humid. It's thick. It's heavy. It's a pervasive fragrance. And it smells glamorous. It smells beautiful. It is just, I can't even really describe it with words fully. Words cannot do justice to how much I love this fragrance. Uh, I, you know, this is definitely in my top 10, probably in my top five. The only reason I hate it is because it's expensive. And you know that in the, on this channel and in my life, I don't wear a lot of expensive perfumes. So you see here, I have some Guerlain's and that's about as expensive as I go. Fraca is easily in the mid to upper, we're going above $150 a bottle. And the only reason I own this bottle is because I asked for it. I think it was for an anniversary. So I can ask for something really special like this for my husband for a special occasion, but I am probably halfway or more through this bottle. And I hate that. I hate that it's so expensive and I want to use it and I want to use it and use it and wear it and wear it. And I want to drown myself in it. I want to wear this at my funeral. I want to wear this. I want, I'd be buried with a bottle of Fricot. This is how glamorous and beautiful and how much I love it. 
It's like a wild love. Like when I smell this, I feel like almost faint. You know, it just takes my breath away how much I love this fragrance. And I hate it because it's so expensive. And I know I can't wear it as often as I'd like. Otherwise, it'll be gone. And then I'll probably have to wait another year before I can get another bottle. If I can ever get another bottle out of my husband. So anyway, that's why I both love and hate for cuff. So that's my love hate video. Um, thank you so much for watching. And thank you, Shauna J for the inspiration. She has a great perfume channel. So please do check her out. She's one of my absolute favorites. Thank you for watching and take care.